All right, today on What To Do Rob, we are doing a starter on a Yamaha Adventurer 2. And started taking this apart here. This is the starter right there, GSB107. Now, if you've been searching on Amazon for a cheaper starter than the original, OEM, you probably came across a starter that was around 120 bucks, and the one we got was from Parts Auto, and in the instructions, it says, connect F2 to ground, do not connect F2 to battery. Now, F2 on your original starter is the power, you can see here. It also says on the starter, connect F2 to ground. Do not connect F2 to battery. That's confusing the crap out of me. So, I saw a lot of reviews, people having problems installing this, it's spinning backwards and it's not working. So we are gonna figure this out today. The first thing you always wanna do, always, is disconnect that power wire, especially with the starter back here, you're going to be taking off the power and a couple of other wires. Now, this connector here, what we're going to find out, apparently the new connector doesn't fit inside of this. And when you try to jam it in, the wires won't match up. Red has to go to red, obviously, and green has to go to green. So when we disconnect this, the new cable's not going to line up. You're going to try to jam it in there, and then you're going to have green to red and red to green, which is what you don't want. What you're going to have to do is keep this old connector. You're going to have to cut these here, which looks like these have already been cut at one time. You're going you're gonna to have to cut these and splice it in to the wires from your new starter to use this old adapter here so that these wires will line up properly. So let's pull this starter out of here and get them next to each other on the bench. All right, so we got these side by side on the bench now. As you can see, <clears throat> they are almost identical. Well, they are identical, okay? The problem is Everywhere, again, says do not connect F2 to battery. Connect F2 to ground. Now, F2, again, is here. That's the top of your starter where your power normally went. So that's really, really confusing everybody. And over here is your link wire on the new one. You can see... The link wire on the old one actually goes to A2. On the new one, it's actually going to A1. What the heck is that all about? So, and also your connectors here. Well, I uh, cut the connector off of this one because we're going to have to use this connector on here. The connector that comes on this will not plug in to your old one. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back into the machine. We're gonna put this one in the machine and then we're gonna have to figure out exactly how to run these wires because this was normally the power, like I said. Now they're saying it's the ground. And that's very, very scary for someone who wants to take a chance hooking the power back up to where it was because it says don't connect F2 to battery everywhere. Don't connect F2 to battery. And down again, warning, don't connect F2 to battery. The unit will get damaged. Well, if you connect it the way they want you to connect it, this is going to spin backwards. Not going to work. It's going to spin backwards, and some people may install it and say, why isn't my cart running the starter spinning? Because the pulley is spinning backwards. So we got to figure out how to make it spin forward without 
blowing this thing up and looking like Hiroshima outside in the parking lot. All right, let's get to uh, figuring this thing out. We're going to put this one back in the same way we took it out, so I'm not going to video all that. I'm just going to pick up once I get this thing installed back in, and then we'll play with the wires. On the bottom says, in case you want to change rotation from CW to CCW, connect A2 with F1. Now, the CW, the CCW, I was kind of confused what that meant. And then I realized, because this was spinning backwards, that CW means clockwise. CCW counterclockwise. So, in case you get a unit that doesn't have those instructions, what they mean is remember, our original link from F1 on the bottom on the original starter was going here to A2. On the new starter, they have it connected to A1. So what they're telling you to do is disconnect this and put it back up here where it originally was. Now, I'll put that in. I'm still confused about this F2 because that used to be a hot. But the first thing we're going to do is unlink this and put it back to its original state like it was on the original OEM starter. Okay. So as you see, I used my my 10 millimeter. I removed the original link, and I'm now it's going from F2 up to A2. Now I'm going to put the starter in, and we are going to figure out the rest of the wiring from here. All right, so we got the starter bolted back up. So. This is the part that I'm very unsure of, but it says connect F2 to ground. So my ground that was originally on the side is now going to go to here. Let's bolt that up. Alright, so that's bolted up. Now the power which is here that originally went up here is now going to go down here to A1 where the ground originally was. That's what makes me nervous, but you gotta follow the company's instructions. And hopefully when I reconnect that battery, this thing doesn't start blowing smoke. But it did say, do not connect F2 to battery, connect F2 to ground. So the only thing we really did at this point was change this link wire from there up to here all right it's all hooked up now is the moment of truth you want to touch this really lightly to make sure nothing back there is going to spark um, well seems okay Go ahead and put that power back on. We'll turn our key, make sure nothing sparks. Turn the key on. Hey, nothing frying. This is our moment of truth here. Step on the pedal and see if it's actually gonna go. Ah, there she is. Believe that fixed it, but I want to bolt that up, take it for a drive just to be sure. Well, it seems to be running good now, so that is the way to properly hook up that starter if you get one like that. Hopefully, this helps. See you next time on what to do.